What's up you guys? It is Alexis and I'm finally back with a video. I know it's been super long. I want to say it's been close to two months. Just basing it off of my last video and where I was at in my last video. So yeah, I'm finally back with a video. I'm so sorry that it saved me so long. But um, it's just been a lot going on in my life. Um, and filming just hasn't been the best thing to do. Nico! Filming hasn't been the best thing to do. So I've been trying to hold off. Also, I don't have many places to film. So that's another thing. As you can see in today's video, it will be a first trimester update. Um, I'm well into my second trimester now. I'm actually 18 weeks going into my 19th week. So I'm definitely like out of my first trimester. So I can definitely talk about my first <laughs> So I can definitely talk about my first trimester just because um, it's over and done with. <laughs> already gone so I believe that in my last video I was around 12 or 13 weeks so I was getting close to ending my first trimester which is why in my last video I said that I'll be recording um, my update video soon but it wasn't really that soon but I'm doing it now so I'm just going to pull up my list on my phone just because like pregnancy brain that is a real thing I have moments where I just blank out and I can't remember anything I can't remember my Train of thought, like, pregnancy brain is real. Don't let nobody tell you it's not, because it is. <laughs> so I'll be going over the symptoms, cravings, products I'm using, and the apps that I'm using. And then I'll also show you guys a bump shot, because I have not shown one on YouTube yet. Um, if you have me on social media, like Instagram, Snapchat, if you follow me on there, then you've seen my belly. Um, but if you're not following me, you should definitely follow me, just so you can stay updated, because I update my social media a lot quicker than YouTube, like, a lot quicker so and then I also had a few questions from a long time ago that I wanted my followers to ask me for this update video so I'm gonna try to answer some of them as well I believe that some of them overlap with the updates anyway so I may not answer all of them just because I don't want this to be too repetitive okay so today's date is June 11th 2019 and like I said I'm going into my 19th week so I'm currently 18 weeks right now, so I'm getting close to five months, which is so crazy because time is flying by. <laughs> That's insane. Um, and I think my last video, I was three months, I believe. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it up above. Okay, so the symptoms during my first trimester, um, between weeks five through ten, I literally did this in such great detail. I'm so happy. <laughs> so weeks five through ten, I had really heavy and sore boobs, were really sensitive. Um, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory. Pretty much my, like, period symptoms is, like, that same symptom, having, like, heavy sore boobs, except this was, like, times 10. And it was really hard to, like, wear bras or, like, just move. Like, it, they were really, really sore. <laughs> um, and then along with my boobs being really heavy and sore, they were also itchy, like, and they're still itchy now, so that has not went away yet. Um, but between... It started at my ninth week, and that's when it got, like, really, really itchy. Like, I would scratch it, too. I know you're not supposed to scratch it, but at the time, like, I had to scratch it. Um, later, I had got some lotion, some cocoa butter, so, you know, I just put that on my boobs, and that helped a lot. Just helped it soothe down a lot. Um, the next symptom is nausea and vomiting, and it was at its peak between weeks six through nine. So, my nausea and vomiting was pretty much primarily really bad during my second month. Um, and it would just be like, not just vomiting, but like, even if I brush my teeth and if I brush my tongue, like just touch my tongue, I would literally gag. Like my gag reflex was just like on 10. <laughs> um, and then my smells, like I could smell like I'm Spider-Man. Even now, like my smells are really on point. Like I'll be like, what's that smell? <laughs> like I'll just smell like the most random things and everybody's like, what? No, nobody, nobody smells that. And I would be nauseous like pretty much every single day. So that kind of ties in with me not eating a lot, which I'll get into later in this video, if I don't forget. Okay, so yeah, I didn't really eat that much because I didn't really like want full meals just because I would get really sick. And my sensitivity to certain foods is primarily pork. Breakfast sandwiches, I used to love them prior to being pregnant. But then being pregnant, like... <laughs> Also, the last time I actually got sick was when I had cookout, and I have not had cookout since. And I'm from North Carolina, so like cookout's a really big thing down here, but 
mm, have I had it. <laughs> and then also my skin has become extra dry, which sucks for me because my skin is already dry. Yeah, my skin is like extra dry. I have to put on so much lotion <laughs> and it's the summertime, so like you can't be ashy regardless. And also I was extremely fatigued. I would literally sleep all day during my first trimester. Like, I couldn't get up to do anything. I would wake up in the morning, eat, take out my puppy, and then I would literally just go back to sleep. Like, that's literally what I did. I literally took so many naps throughout the day just because I couldn't do anything, which is crazy because now I'm bigger and I have so much more energy. I don't know how. <laughs> and I was also very sad during my first trimester. Um, I want to say that was due to the hormones because I'm not that sad anymore. Well, I have my moments and I just start crying out of nowhere, but like I was just really sad. Like I'd be sad like for an entire day. And I definitely limited my social interactions with people. I didn't really talk to people that much um, like in person unless I had to go to work and because that's my job. Alright, so now on to the cravings and food aversions. So my cravings were hash browns, either in like hash brown skillets, like with like scrambled eggs, um, you know, peppers, or McDonald's hash browns. I will literally get the McDonald's hash brown for breakfast and I'll be satisfied until like the evening, which isn't good, but like that was all I could like tolerate. Um, and anything spicy, I still crave spicy things. If you know me, you know that I love spicy food. I put hot sauce on literally everything. Um, that has not stopped and it didn't stop in my first trimester even when I was getting sick spicy foods was like the only thing that was set on my stomach which is weird but also I created a lot of ice cream vanilla ice cream to be exact uh, vanilla ice cream with chocolate syrup or any type of like ice cream float whether it was with root beer or coca-cola um, and then the food aversions like I mentioned earlier it was bacon breakfast sandwiches and cheese like I still don't like cheese um, I thought that when I was gonna have a baby that I would be like oh I'll know I'm pregnant when I start eating cheese no it's like that I like I already hate cheese before being pregnant and now that I am like the smell of cheese and like mm, like just thinking about that makes me want to like just uh, like gag <laughs> Oh, if you can't tell a uh, symptom for the second trimester that I'm out of breath all the time and I breathe hard. So I'm so sorry if you hear me breathing throughout this video. So the products I'm using, um, I am taking a prescribed prenatal vitamin and cocoa butter. That's pretty much it. I mean, nothing, nothing has really changed. I don't use anything like too particular to like for pregnancy. Um, the cocoa butter that I use is like the stretch marks kind, so I put that on my tummy, my boobs, my thighs, my butt. And then also the apps that I'm using, I'm using two apps. I have a lot more, but I really go to two. Even though one of them I don't use that often, but I know that I will use it whenever the time is right. So the first app that I use is Baby Center, and this is like an app. I'm going to show you guys too. So this app updates me on the weeks that I'm on. Uh, also the development of the baby as well as my body was changing and it also like kind of like correlates the size of the baby with a fruit or a vegetable or, like some type of food item which I think is so cute and I know this is like a general like idea of how everything is going but it's still nice to reflect on just because my prenatal appointments are still once a month so I still like to be updated on everything so right now I am 18 weeks and it says that the baby is a size of a bell pepper which is pretty big <laughs> this goes over how my body should be looking and then also has a section for the baby as well and it'll just show the developments for the baby and then it just goes on an article about the size and the baby's development my development and then it just gives tips at the end the second app i use is baby story and i just use that app if i want to make like cute pictures and put little like hearts and flowers um, or like anything cute on my pictures. Um, I did that for my announcement picture on Instagram. So if you have not seen that, you should definitely follow me on Instagram. It's at Alexis Whitby. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the updates. And I'm going to answer some of the questions from Instagram from like two months ago. So the first one was, sorry if it sounds wrong, but don't you think you are a bit young for a baby? Now, this is a very controversial topic. Because everyone has their own opinions about age and want to have kids and what life plan to go on. But initially I was scared to have a baby so young because 
I am pretty young. I'm not like the youngest girl to have a baby, but I'm also not like, you know, 27. Like I'm right before the time period where everyone's like, okay, it's time to have a baby. There's never really a right time to have a baby. I don't think everyone's gonna be like fully prepared for that. I think at this point, you know, everything happens for a reason. So I gotta say about that. <laughs> before getting pregnant, did you want a girl or boy? Has your mind changed? Yes, it has changed. <laughs> before um, I got pregnant, I wanted to have a girl. Um, I just wanted to have a girl. But now I want to have a boy if I had a choice. Either way, I want a healthy baby, but if I had a choice, I really would like a boy. <laughs> but you know, I honestly don't even know what I'm gonna have because it's so 50-50, literally. Will you continue school during slash after your pregnancy in any baby names? So I am finishing school. I did transfer. That is the main reason why I transferred from a and I'm gonna miss a and so much. But that is one of the reasons why I did transfer. I'm finishing my degree online just so that I don't have to go like and leave the baby every single day. And I've taken a lot of online classes. When I was in Florida, I did my entire semester online and it was fine. So I'm not too worried about how that will be. I will say that it may be difficult at first to adjust to having a baby and try to finish assignments as well as possibly working. So, you know, it'll be a lot, but hopefully I can document that a lot. Um, in the future, do you actually start to crave pickles? Yes. I used to hate pickles um, after I turned like seven. I believe that it's mainly like the sour taste or like the salty taste from the pickles is what you crave. Do you get morning sickness? If so, how bad is it? I did get morning sickness. Um, it was pretty bad. I hate throwing up because I can't breathe. <laughs> um, and the morning sickness lasts all day. So I wish they would change the name of that because it's very misleading. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is it? I want to say it's a 7.5. Any names you're thinking about? By the way, congrats. I love you and your channel. I love you too, thanks. I do have the girl and boy name picked already, but I'm not gonna announce it anytime soon, probably. Um, comment down below if you think I'm having a girl or boy. Um, yeah, you can guess when you see my belly. <laughs> and can I be your aunt? Yes, Hannah, you can be an aunt. <laughs> and all my Disney sisters, um, you can all be aunts. So that's pretty much all of the questions and the update. Sorry if I talk really fast. I was really just trying to get this video filmed because I'm using natural lighting and I'm honestly getting tired of sitting in one spot and just talking. So before I go, I want to show you my belly update. This is what my belly looks like from the front. I mean, you can kind of tell there's an invention right here, but you can really tell um, to the side. So this is the front and how it looks. And this is the side. So yeah, almost five months, and this is what I look like. Um, that's pretty much all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry it's all over the place, but you know, I just want to get this video up as soon as I can. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.